Hey, hi guys. Today we are gonna uh, talk about sternal angle of Lewis. What it is, what is its anatomy, and what are all structures that pass through at the level of sternal angle of Lewis. Okay. So this sternal angle of Lewis, you can feel it. Like uh, you can feel it just below the star, uh, the jugular notch at uh, this uh, at the cursor you can see somewhere along this would be a sternal angle of Louis okay so just talking about an overview of sternal angle of Louis the manubrium makes an angle with the body of sternum at 162 degree in males I don't know about females and this sternal angle of Louis is situated at the level of second pair of coastal cartilage and posteriorly at the level of in intervertebral disc between T4 and T5. So here we can look at the thoracic cage. Here we look at the sternal angle of Louis and this is the first rib, this is the second rib and this is where the sternal angle of Louis, Louis lies. And we, we can see that several important structures pass a lot uh, through this plane through this plane of ang sternal angle of Louis and also this sternal of angle of Louis can act as a prominent landmarks when you have to know the auscultatory areas of the heart or maybe put the chest limblets on the heart so this sternal angle of Louis is damn important so let's see the structures that pass via the plane of sternal angle of Louis so there is a beautiful mnemonic the red plant that will make you remember all the structures that pass along the plane of sternal angle of Louis. The first is the first letter is R, the second rib. Second is the arch of aorta for A. Along along the angle of Louis, the trachea bifurcates, which goes along with the letter T. P is for pulmonary trunk bifurcation. L is for left recurrent laryngeal nerve, which loops around the arch of aorta and the ligamentum ter ter arterism which is a remnant structures which connects the arch of aorta and the pulmonary trunk then there is a zygous system of veins this a zygous vein i think drains into the superior vena cava and there are nerves the cardiac plexus which supplies the uh, the heart and might also be the lungs okay then there is thoracic duct which is like the posterior most structure in the thorax and which drains into the left uh, brachiocephalic vein it drains all the lymph okay so this is just a very beautiful mnemonic which we shall be to remember now let's see in the figure some of the structure so this is t4 d5 vertebra posteriorly this is the level of uh, sternal angle of louis and this is like sternal angle of louis and we can see the arch of aorta here then we can see the bifurcation of trachea which is known as the which and we can call it like car carina also then this this is uh, uh, bifurcation of pulmonary pulmonary trunk we can see here the bifurcation of pulmonary trunk and the wait the we can have a recurrent laryngeal now we will go like this it will loop around this arch of aorta then we will have uh, the ligamentum arteriosum which will connect this pulmonary trunk and the arch of aorta okay which is a remnant structure of course so and if we get a ct scan at the level of t4 what are all the structures we will get this is the posterior part of the this film and this is the anterior part this is the left part this is the right part okay and going from posterior to anterior this is vertebral body okay this is this this might be uh, t4 this is t4 this is spinal cord okay and this is the arch of vertebra and this is spine and then moving on anteriorly uh, we will have the esophagus this one then the trachea this one okay and this kidney like structure we, we, see, we see in this film is arch of aorta okay which is along the left side and this structure which is on the right side of the film is the superior vena cava if i'm not wrong and this one is sternum 
and these are the ribs okay and these are again the ribs so that's it this is the, this is all about sternal angle of Louis which is anatomy and the mnemonic and the uh, CT, CT scan okay